Hey everyone, welcome to Higan Iruthil. So this is an advanced review of the incoming banner. This is happening, I think, on the 14th, if I'm not mistaken. So that's just a few days away from the current banner, which is Nunu. Um, not sure why this is happening so quickly, but again, I'll give you my, you know, my my feedback my review i've used rita extensively from soft launch and uh this would really help you uh, decide whether again you're gonna be going back to nunu skipping this or skipping nunu going for this or skipping both and moving on to the next so that is where i would want you guys to feel after you know more or less um digesting what I have to say about this banner. We will have two reviews um, <laughs> right now. So Rita first. Oh, no, no. Hathor first. Then Rita last. So Hathor is going to be the, the rate up um, SR. So will you need Hathor? That is the first question. Because you'll be getting a lot of, you know, even if you don't get Rita, more or less you'll be getting Hathor if you pull for this banner. So let's go first to Hathor. So this is again my Vanguard server account. <laughs> so I'm gonna clarify that up. Um, so okay, so for Hathor, she is a hoplite, so definitely she's using AD. Okay, AD is for uh, physical damage characters which is Hoplite, Guardian, Ranger, and Assassin. Okay, so th those are physical type. So they're using AD. So again, the stats that uh, is going to be good for her is bonus attack speed. She's going to be in, uh, in the front. AD, of course. HP, probably lifesteal. And that is it. Uh, crit rate and crit damage, of course, would, would, would be beneficial for her as well. So... Let's move on to her skills. Let's just have a sense of what who who Hathor is. She's actually a cleaning maid. So I don't know if I'll have her clean my house or my room, but uh, she's pro she, she'll probably destroy the room because of this vacuum cleaner. It's not a vacuum cleaner, but anyway. Um, basic attack. Again, it's basic attack. Purifying fire. So, 100 to 110%, AD to an enemy. So, that's your very basic, basic attack. Next up is uh, passive. So, for her passive, Hatter stays focused. Basic attack grants her one stack of sense of responsibility. Uh, this increases her attack speed, which is nice. So, all you have to do is increase her damage output. This effect lasts for 6 seconds, max 10 stacks. Okay. This expires instantly when affected by a crowd control effect. Okay, next up is um, she has two active skills. You can choose either of them. You can swap them if you like. So this one is a buff damage and active. Hathor can't stand the filthy anymore. She deals P damage, physical damage, AD to enemies with an arc. Within an arc. Okay, so enemies, plural. So she has kind of a small AOE arc and gains bonus crit rate for 7 seconds. That's only 10%. Okay, so that is her active. The other active skill is Hatter focuses on cleaning loads being interrupted. So she does not want to be interrupted, guys, when she cleans your house. She deals P damage to surrounding enemies and gains unassailable for 3 seconds when gaining 2 stacks of sense of responsibility unassailable is immune to all dislocation effects so she just keeps on hacking the other one is immune immunity this one is bonus crit rate it really up, it's really up to you on how you're gonna build her um both are good this one is good the crit the bonus crit rate especially if this scales as you level her up Oh, sorry, that, as, as you level up this active skill. If this scales, then this would be better than this one. But again, this one is immune to all dislocation effects. So, 
But my priority, I would suggest, is go with this one, especially if you can scale this up from 10%. Then Ultimate Hathor Overclock. So it's a buff in Ultimate. Her cleanings, Cleansing Flame to deal 80 damage to enemies within an arc. So there's a small arc again. Then gains 10 stacks of Sense of Responsibility. Uh, sense of responsibility is, if you recall, this one. So attack speed. So oh, she also gains attack speed, increased attack speed with this one. And her basic attack becomes blue fire. Blue fire is within 7 seconds. Basic attack damage increases by 110 to 120. And crit rating is by 15. Upon critical strike, blue fire's duration extends up to 0.5 and up to 14 seconds okay what are my thoughts initially um from what i remember hathor is more focused on single target but has the ability to widen her her damage a little bit because of the arc so um she is hoplite and she is of fire I just wonder if you guys recall a certain hoplite fire hero or character that just recently came out. Definitely, if you have Sir Slit, you won't be able to use Hathor. Um, she's a nice unit to have, by the way, for if you're starting out. And if you don't, if you really need a hoplite, then she can be the girl for you. Okay. Euphoria is actually one of her, you know, competitions in terms of hoplite and fire. But again, I don't see you using or you know um, using Hathor. Um, you'll probably reset her eventually. So um, unless if you're really into summoning for Hathor and you want to more or less uh, use her instead of. Uh, the two that I mentioned, then be my guest. So she is actually she's actually decent. I'm, don't get me wrong, her kit is is really is, is good. It's not it's not a bad kit. So again, there's nothing wrong with you guys using her for her awaken. Phase one is damage mitigation, which is standard uh, standard for hoplites. Damage bonus is uh, phase two. Phase 3 is, this is, uh, deals 50 more damage to burning targets. So additional damage to burn targets. So a burn team. This one is deals additional 333% damage for the blue fire. Uh, again, her kit is, is based on attack speed crit and a lot of damage. That's it. Single. She, she is usually used for single target. Upon entering battle, gain four stacks of sense of responsibility. This is your att attack speed bonus. And uh, each stack of sense of responsibility grants an additional 10 attack speed. So, then this one gives her cleave. So, basic attack also gives damage to enemies near the target. So, eventually, you can have cleave for her. She can do damage within an arc. Especially for her basic attack, which is nice. So not only she can do single target, but again, she can do cleave. And uh, crit rate, unassailable. And this one is uh, lifesteal. Ooh, she, she has built-in lifesteal. So, and also, you can increase her crit rate. So again, my point in her is that her build initially will be for single target. She can really morph into an AOE hitter um, emphasis on damage dealing, crit rate, attack speed, eventually lifesteal. Um, her kit is, is actually decent. Don't, don't get me wrong. You can actually use her really if you really, really want to use her, especially if you could get a lot of copies of her, then be my guest. Um, but again, uh, this is what she's SR. You'll definitely get her uh, if you have Sir Slit, definitely you're not going to be using her. But if you don't have Sir Slit, she could be an option for Hoplite uh, Fire. Okay, so next, um, our last review will be Rita. 
Okay, so for the longest time, Rita has been my mascot. I'm I'm a bit biased towards her because of how I'm using her in my teams. Um, currently, I'm using her in my team. Later, I'll do a, a an account showcase for both Vanguard account and the current one, which is APAC. Uh, the Vanguard is actually now uh, a paid account. The other one is free, still free to play, the, the, the uh, Asia Pacific. So we'll go... Go to that later. This one, um, again, just wanna say that she hits hard. Bonus attack speed is actually nice because she gets to to increase her basic attack, which she really, really needs. Aside from the current buff, the the recent buff that she was given, so you have uh, also need to increase crit rate if you can. Crit damage is at one fifty, and AD is her attack um, stat. Okay, so uh, currently I'm using uh, this one, Karota. I don't have anything good for her um, so far. This will do. Um, and for her skills, let's go over all of her skills before. Again, I, I wouldn't want to encourage you guys. I would like you guys to decide for yourself um, if you want her on your team. The only reason I think that you will be getting Rita is if you don't have Fen. Because both of them are, are rangers. Are ra yeah, rangers. But Fen is more of AoE oriented while Rita is more of single target. So again, you'll have to decide whether what style would you want to use. Um, again, it will be your preference. They're both fire, they're both rangers. But for Rita, let's go back to Rita first. Rita's skill. So this one, the basic attack. This one was recently buffed. So the rate of fire is kinda better than you know than soft launch. The passive skill, while burning effect was added to this one. Um, this was kind of nerfed because the drone is only uh, is actually going towards an ally. It doesn't go back. It, Rita can't use this drone, so that is the, the kind of a debuff that they gave Rita. But I don't really mind because right now, um, what I'm doing is I'm pairing Rita with Sirslet, and it, it it's really nice because the drone goes to Sirslet, and again you get my drift. So. This one is um, basic attacks inflicts one stack of burning effects. So this gives burning effect to your basic attack. The drone here grants 15, 14, 15, 14 bonus AD to an ally with the highest AD. So you have, again, if you have Surslit, then it goes to Surslit. A burning unit takes continuous damage up to over 10 seconds. So this one is her first active skill. So Rita carries her anti-material rifle. Okay, this one, this active skill, I like this and I'm using this because of the interrupt and the knockback. This also has decent damage, but the interrupt and knockback is very good, especially if you are knocking back a guardian or a hoplite. So this I'm preferring over this one. This one is anti-material. This one is metal slug. So this one is more of an area effect or area damage. To this is dealing damage to enemies within a rectangular area. I don't really mind Rita not having an air, you know an area damage or AOE damage. Um, so I'm preferring this, and this has four energy. So this you know cycles quick. So I'm going with this. And for her ultimate, so this one has a very big damage of uh, for a single target, monitoring them for 8 seconds. So monitor is remove 2 stacks of buff on the target, hits the that land and affected unit, hits the land on the affected unit, unit are 30% more likely to be critical hits. So additional hits, additional critical damage to hits because of this skill so remove 
okay remove two stacks of buffs so if if they have buffs so no 30 percent more to have critical hits on the ultimate just want to rephrase that okay so again this one hits hard this one is for utility interrupt and knockback this helps you interrupt bosses especially if you're pairing her with Gildan. Both of them can uh, interrupt a boss in front. And this one is for the drone to highest AD with burning effect to your basic attack. So what do I think of her? I think she's amazing. Um, the way her kit is built before she can buff herself with the drone now. It's 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 a small trade off. It's actually unfair if you if it goes to her, but right now it goes to Sirslet. Then I am really happy. The highest AD is going to be buffed by that drone. So we go to the awaken portion. Damage mitigation, bonus physical damage. This one I took the increased physical damage by thirty percent with no enemies exists within six uh, meter radius she's definitely far up far very far from the nearest enemy so this will definitely trigger unless she is dashed by eluia it rarely happens or it usually happens in pv pvp but for pve she's gonna have a feast actually with this one this one is when a target knocked back by anti-material they become grounded so this one when knocked back, they're going to stick there for a couple of seconds. But I prefer this one, the metal slug. Um, no, this is with the metal slug. You know, if you're going to be using knockback, definitely. Uh, if you're going to be using the skill, definitely you're going to choose this. For this one, this is metal slug. This is the other skill in the, the right side. So this will disarm. Again, you have to align your skill with your awaken tree otherwise it's going it's going to miss much but this is actually good this arm is cannot perform basic attacks so metal slug is this one so you have to align them if you want to use this you have to take uh this one okay for five so predator yh this is the ultimate this one is extended duration increase monitor targets crit damage taken from pyro character but by an additional 30 percent this is only good if that character has high crit rate again if low crit rate crit damage won't take effect but this one is also good if you don't you want to risk um not dealing crit damage this one is also good because damage increases by 30 percent this is fine uh, phase six is this is on the effect of the drone this one is more defensive this is a shield on the target so if you have sirslet it's going to be a shield this one if this is more offensive so during extent Movable armories the duration extends by four and increase the buff targets basic attack damage by 50% So this is increased duration and more basic attack damage So definitely I'd go with this because again the target is going to be surslet. So again guys, what do you think of Rita for me? Um, again, I don't think she's also a must pull especially if you're with Fen if you don't like single target damages, then you go with Fen. Fen is more AOE. Again, it's good to have the both of them. If you have Fen already, if you want to go for Rita, it's good to have both of them because, again, Rita will help you in, in taking down bosses. Um, while Fen will take down the back line, it will help you because of the AOE. I don't think she's going to be a must pull. Um... But, but, just be sure that you have units that can take down bosses, uh, units that have uh, the ability to be used in single target opponents. That is actually just my warning. If you don't have those, better get Rita for single target. Plus, she has a buff for your highest AD character, which most likely, if you have Sirslet, will be Sirslet. I've been bragging about this because i'm using that team i'm using gildan sirslet 
and Rita and my current healer that I'm trying out is actually Screamer. So that's a fire team with Gildan in it. So again, I'm happy with that team. So far, work wonders for me. Clearing stages, clearing bosses, even for PvP. So that is it, guys. Um, again, my last thought. If you're not summoning for Nuno and if you lack a single target damage dealer, go for her banner. If you got Nuno and if you have nothing left for Rita, it's okay because again, uh, you still, I think, have options, other options, especially if you have Fen. Also, if you want to skip her banner, she's not really a must pull. If you want to save up for the next one, then be my guest. But again, as for me, I'm I'm keeping Rita. And if I didn't have her in this account, I'll definitely pull for her. So again, guys, comment down in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you, um, your builds. Um, do you think of pulling for Rita or not? And uh, that's it. So thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden. And I'm out of here.